talk to you down the box of news from the capital city here with the Mexican Johnny Gart and John Fresh off a fifth round stoppage over Nathan Weiss. How happy with the performance tonight there, John? Yeah, I, um, yeah, I thought it was going to be a lot tougher than it was. I know Nathan's a good boxer, so I thought it was going to be tricky. I thought I'd get him late on, but uh, I weren't expecting it to be 50, to be honest. Yeah, you, you, you always knew this was going to be a tough fight. You uh, boxed as an amateur for West Ham, John. No, no mug around the game, was there? You know, he, he, and, and these, as your career's progressing now, John, do you feel like you're coming into your own now? So I've always said, um, the better opponent you put in front of me, the better I'll be. Yeah. You put a journey in front of me, you don't do nothing. I'm never gonna look, I need someone to hit me back to pick my game up. And um, yeah. I think that's what I'm starting to do, as I said. Yeah, your first defence of your southern area, well, well titled, John. How, how long do we, I know it's only doors, you only just won it, but how long do we see you before you maybe vacate and think about a shot at the English? Uh, you know, that's up to Al and um, Steve Goodwin. I'll just, I'll just get in the gym, do what I've got to do in there, and I'll leave them up to the ma ma uh, matchmaking and picking the fights. So I'll fight anyone you put in front of me. John, you trained Alan Smith, just it, it said adamantly, John, you are out soon. Once you're out, once you're ticking, John, how, how, how quick do you hope to be back in the ring? As soon as possible, I'd fight next week if you let me. Would you really? Yeah, I love, you, you, know, you know yourself, I love fighting. Uh, I'm always in the gym, I'll be in the gym next week. I love, I love what I do, so I'll keep it down as long as I can. John, your confidence seems to be up. Watched you from your first fight to now. What were you in now? Four eight? Yeah. For your four eight fight, John. And that's your third stoppage win on the bounce. And you just look like when you came, you were a brawler. And now you look like you're measuring your shots, you're moving in and out of distance, you're hard to hit, and you're getting your shots off, John. How satisfying is that for you? You, you know, especially your trainers, your coach, Eddie Lamb, Al Smith. How satisfying is that for you? Yeah, you know, um, when I come in, you know, I was a brawler, and I did. I've always said you're trying to change the style, you're trying to take the right back, and I'm trying hard. I'm not going to say I'm the best, I'm not, not, not saying at all, but I will fight anyone and I will improve loads. And, um, I'm starting to show it. Most definitely. And John, this last of you, you know, regular platform on this matchroom fight pass now, great exposure for you, John. Sell a lot of, lot of tickets, popular fight. I, I feel, you know, you, you, as I've said before, your time is now, John. I think you, you know, you, do you feel that yourself? Do you, uh, you know, you know, I'm not, I wouldn't say I'm the most confident kid, I just like doing what I do, and that's it. But as I'm getting on, I'm starting to get more confidence, and I'm doing all this. I haven't got no sponsors, I've got to work full time, I'm training once a day, and I'm doing all this at the back of that. So you make me buy the sponsor, but I'd be able to do it. John, how early in that fight did you think you had your man in trouble? Because I noticed him blinking quite heavily at the end of the second round, and he almost sort of shook his head to his corner man. Did you feel like you had him going sort of early? Yeah, to be honest, as I said, I was a lot more comfortable than I thought it was going to be because um, I got in there and I thought I was landing a lot easier than I thought on the first. I took my time in the first. The second, I noticed my jab was landing all the time. And then Al said to me, um, throw the jab in right hand over the top. He kicked his left hand low all the time. It landed every single time. And uh, it turned out to be a lot more comfortable than I thought. But I thought it was going to be a very tricky technical fight. Everyone expects me to come forward and ball all the time. I show them the ball out. I'm coming forward with education. John, you looked hot. Those punches that were landing, mate. Oh, you're right. You're right hand now. It's starting to be feared in this division. You know, you steps out. Your power seems to be keeping out, John. You know, yeah, I'm so. starting to relax now. You know, I yeah. think um, before I used to get, you know, used to just try and hit as many times as possible. Now I'm trying to pick my shots. I'm a lot more relaxed. So obviously the power is going to um, come on. Well, if there's any sponsors out there that want to get involved in boxing, a popular young man that's going to go far in the sport, Johnny Garton. Thank you for your time, sir. Thank you. Can Much I just thank the good information? And pro for my kit, Usana, and that's about it. Can you tweet around all John? Uh, John Garton. What am I? Yeah, Johnny. No, what am I? I don't know. Uh, I don't know. At, at Johnny Garton? Yeah, at Johnny Garton, I think. At Johnny Garton. <laughs> Johnny, God bless him. Good luck to you. Cheers, mate. thank you. Good afternoon.